it's looking like in a very unanimous form of decision making or consensus a lot of people kind of gather together towards a common enemy a lot of McFarlane collectors got together and were able to find common ground and resonance in hating the McFarlane Toys Justice League Task Force build a figure wave because I've never seen a wave be frankly kind of hated on by almost everybody it's not even 50 50 almost everyone dislikes this line and being announced and going relatively soon after for pre-order that was initially announced at New York Comic Con and just a few days later, McFarlane posts this teaser image and announces that the uh, pre-orders are going to go up tomorrow, which was, I believe, this past Friday. So pre-orders have been up. And just for context, to kind of just clarify exactly just how badly people are not really vibing with this wave, this went up on for pre-order October 25th. I believe it was Friday, October 25th at 9 p.m. I mean, I'm sorry, 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific. It is still available from the McFarlane Toys store as well as probably other retailer sites such as Target. I don't know about Walmart. I don't even know if it's up at Walmart. I don't even know if it's up at Target necessarily. But Amazon, fan channels like Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, they still got this entire wave up for pre-order. And on top of that, the McFarlane bundle that they often do with Build-A-Figures or Complete Waves is still available for that discounted price going from a hundred bucks where it's basically all four figures c combined with the regular price but then McFarlane kind of shaving off a little bit of that excess in to the point where you're almost not completely but almost getting dark side for free um almost i want to say you're getting dark side for about ten dollars off so for 85 dollars you can get all five of these figures and they're all still, it's all still available. And you could probably even get a further discount if you know the right codes. If you know the magic words. So the fact that this thing is still available. Like I said, everybody just completely unanimously decided that they don't like this wave. A lot of people said that it was ugly. A lot of people said that it was cheap. That it was such a deep cut that people don't know what McFarlane is talking about. That's probably the one area I will agree on and just completely understand where they're coming from is that this is such an obscure cut that when they said the name Justice League Task Force, no clue what they were talking about. However, when I saw the cover art of the game, that's when it finally resonated with me. I'm like, okay, never play the game. Didn't have a Sega Genesis nor a Super Nintendo. My cousins had a Super Nintendo, but they obviously didn't have this game. But I can tell you that I've seen this cover a handful of times at Blockbusters throughout the 90s, at uh, Target's, Walmart, yeah, Toys R Us when I was going kind of like down the aisle and seeing like the different rows of games. And at the time when I was, uh, you know, the, the release date of the Nintendo 64 was kind of coming up, um, they still had a few Super Nintendo games kind of in stock to kind of sell off before they finally officially transition to the next uh, generation of consoles at the time playstation it would be playstation dreamcast and uh n64 and i remember seeing this cover art uh, a couple of times there so once i saw this imagery two things came to mind one okay finally the game has kind of unlocked a little bit of a core memory but i never played the game so i can't I don't have that strong affinity that probably McFarlane has enough to be moved to create an entire wave that then becomes a build a figure wave that gives you dark side. So <laughs> that is pretty amusing. The second thing that came to mind that is almost as equally amusing is the fact that there is no Wonder Woman. Despite how predominant she's taking up the cover art and how much I would argue that next to Batman and Superman it would probably be Wonder Woman that you would want to be in that bath, but instead, we get Aquaman and Flash, who are kind of even smaller on the cover than she is. So, even other people in the chat were like, why, in the comment section, I can't remember if I saw it on Reddit and Facebook, or even on this tw Twitter post, I'm sorry, X post, um, 
people were arguing like why no Wonder Woman or Green Arrow since they're very predominant characters in this fighting game from DC and Sunsoft who I believe also made the Batman NES game which I did play and I did, really do like so it's inter it is curious to kind of tease the idea that maybe there's going to be like a platinum for the uh, Justice League Task Force Wonder Woman but at the same time this is such an obscure cut uh, that I doubt that they're going to be doing that and I do think it's a little I don't want to necessarily say use the word shady but a little eyebrow raising that we didn't get Wonder Woman I don't know if it's continuing the trend of McFarlane believing that Wonder Woman figures are not going to sell or it's the fact that maybe it will sell a little bit too much considering that this rendition of Wonder Woman ain't exactly let's just say I don't mind but modern audiences might mind I'm just saying you know, look at her and you think that some parent at Target or whatever is not going to look at that and be like oh my god God, yeah, like, I, honestly, I'm almost willing to lean towards that second reason. Or it could be both. And it was just too much that McFarlane was like, nah, I gotta go with either, you know, one of these was for sure gonna be Flash. And I would almost argue that the Aquaman slot would have been Wonder Woman, but instead, they would have had, it would have looked even cringier if they took this Wonder Woman and then just covered her up completely. Because <laughs> they went with a much more old school attire back in that early 90s with the Sega Genesis SNES version and if you change it you get backlash for that if you don't change it you're gonna get backlash later so to avoid all of that I would imagine that McFarlane uh probably just opted to do Aquaman and that's that so it's a shame that it went in that direction but apart from those comments and those observations I don't feel the need to criticize this as much as other people are. I don't know what it is, but I kind of dig it. I don't love it. I'm not in a rush to get it to the point where I didn't pre-order with McFarlane because I know that they charge right away for pre-orders. I instead did pre-order, but through Big Bad Toy Store and Amazon because they don't charge until ships. And that won't happen until I think either late November, early December or something. And I would argue that it's not a bad set. Granted, the only effect that I can look at and go, yeah, up close, it looks a little muddy, it looks a little, you know, cheap and gimmicky. But from far away, and when you see all four kind of conjoined together within the same imagery, similar to this graphic here, I don't mind it too much. And that's going to be that pixelization effect that you mainly see on Superman. I feel like with all these characters, Superman is the one that's getting the most pixel sheen, video game sheen on him that you get right here on the chest and on the on the legs that if you were to really, you know, kind of pull the figure, isolate him and just look at those body pieces, you're going to be like, yeah, that looks a little tacky. But once you kind of put him in certain poses with a certain shade of light and they're at an angle where it looks like that pixel look is reflecting all from the same angle on all four of them then they look like they're actually kind of lived in within the video game world granted like i said looking a little bit more uh carefully i can tell that that is the nightfall buck once more for batman I actually kind of don't mind the underwater effect for his hair or like the wind blowing effect for his hair but at the same time i don't blame anybody for feeling that way but i do also really appreciate objectively the, cl the cloth capes and let me see if there's a f let me see actually let me hit the there it is do we have a picture of there it is i actually kind of like this dark side i really like this dark side i cannot lie hey big rib welcome to the stream i don't mind this dark side i don't know what it is but i like the color clash the pixel effect looks a little better on him than the other characters. The face is awesome. I gotta be honest, I kind of like this dark side. And uh, if it means that I need to collect all four to build them, I might be cool with that. But like I said, I'm not in a rush to own this set to the point where I pre ordered with McFarlane. It looks like a lot of people kind of share that sentiment because it's still readily available. But the sheer ire that i saw from people for this i just 
I didn't understand that, but maybe some of you can help me, you know, see the light with this. Because I personally just don't see it. I just don't. <laughs> 